everyone, welcome back. So what I have right here is just a very simple part. And what I wanna teach you using this part is one, how to set a material um, for what you create, and two, how to change its appearance. And you might be like, well, isn't that the same thing? Um, in some ways, yes, but not all. Okay, so first off, how do we change appearance? Well, if you go over here onto this design tree, um, first off, I can, if I want to, I can find my solid bodies right here, which is just this revolve. I can find particular features, all that's good. Or I can go over here and click on this. And no matter how I do it, if I right click, I will have the option to change its appearance. So where do I find that? Well, it's this little disco ball right here. I love to call it a disco ball because it just makes me smile. Um, and so if I go to this one, I can click on it. And I can then choose based on either the face I just selected, the revolve, the body, or the entire part, I can choose what aspect of it I am changing the appearance of. I'm gonna go with just face. That will only affect this second trend right here. So once I get there, I am able to begin messing around with its appearance. So I can change its color to be anything I want, green. I can also go into basic appearances in here and choose some. So I can make it you know, glass if I want to, clear glass. I can make it painted, candy apple red. I can make it metal if I want to. And in doing this, I'm not changing the material that it says it's made out of, I'm just changing the way it looks. And for any of these, I can then change the color if I want to, just to go crazy with it. It won't really look like polished bronze anymore, but that's okay, and back to polished steel. So if you change it, it'll be fine. Now once I have the appearance of my part set, I'm going to go on to um, do other things with it. Like I can actually make a realistic view. Because if you look at this, this looks realistic, this does not. This is very, very beautiful to look at. This looks just kind of like a cartoon. And if you're going to be showing this to somebody, you don't want to just give it a cartoon. Okay, before I do that though, let's go ahead and change the appearance of this section. So go right here to appearances. I'm going to choose this face once more. I'm going to make this, you know what, let's go with wood. This is turning into some sort of um, like a hammer thing. I'm going to make it polished mahogany. Once again, that doesn't look like polished mahogany all that well. It's got a little bit of a grain texture there. It's still not the best thing in the world. And I've got one last service over here. I'll make this polished mahogany as well. So once I have all of these materials set, I can then make this realistic using an add-in which is called PhotoView 360 inside of SolidWorks. We're not going to do that in this video because I've got one other thing I want to show you. And we'll go into the add-in to make this realistic next time. The last thing I want to do is to differentiate between a material that I'm showing, like an appearance, and a material for your piece. So material for your piece is not going to be changing its appearance. Like I can go right here, I can edit the material, and I can choose any material I want, like so steel, I can go and find woods, rubber, silicon, carbon fibers, all that, and I can click apply. And now my material, sorry, this part is now made of that material. The entirety of the part is in it. Even though I made this look like wood and that look like metal, this entire part is now, according to SolidWorks, made of AISI 1020 steel. Now, you're like, well, why did I do that? It doesn't change the appearance. This material is not meant for appearance. That is meant for when I'm going to evaluate, like for mass properties. Now it can actually give me a mass because it knows its density. That's also for when I'm actually doing some sort of like um, structural analysis. If I want to see, can this take a particular stress? Well, now the material's built in there and it can say, well, this is made of cotton candy or steel or whatever it is, and it can do the analysis for that. So that being said, we've learned just basically how you change appearance, how you change color for your part. And next time I'm going to show you how to make this realistic. Thanks so much. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.